<laughs> I know y'all want to get up close and personal with my laundry system here, don't ya? <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on that one day. I have kind of a type A laundry system. It's like uber ultra organized. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about our next month's budget. Cause yeah, it's time to budget for next month. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia. If you're new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and my seven-year-old Melina and I are on a debt-free journey to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt. We're getting close to being two-thirds of the way done, which is pretty exciting. So if you'd like to follow us on our journey, we'd love to have you stick around. The people in this community are absolutely amazing and I love every single one of them. So let's jump into what we're spending next month because it's that time of the year, Christmas time, but we've already done our Christmas budget. So yeah, we don't have to worry about anything anymore. It's all done. So our first category is housing and that's supposed to be 25 to 35% of our budget. And all we have in there is $270 for our storage unit. If you don't know why we have a storage unit, I'm gonna point you up to the eye in the sky and suggest that you watch that video. It will explain why we don't pay rent why we don't have a mortgage and why we do have a storage unit. It'll all make perfect sense after you watch that video. In our utilities category, which is supposed to be five to 10% of our budget, we have our cell phones for 2, 15, 14. And I'm actually hoping that those are gonna go down significantly this month. We're in negotiations with Verizon to um, do some little, you know, percentage changes, you know, discounts and whatnot. So hopefully, cross fingers, that that actually goes down. You'll see at the end of the month if that actually worked. And then we have $25 for Skype. In our food category, which is supposed to be 10 to 15%, we have our groceries at $580. And yes, I know that our grocery budget seems to be creeping up and up and up. And there is actually a reason for that. It's not that I like to spend extra money or we're going out. It's that I have discovered the meal delivery plan. It's probably maybe $20 a week more, but oh my goodness, it is so worth the stress and the strife and, and trying to meal plan and it just makes life so much easier. So we're trying out a ton of meal delivery services and I may actually do a video on it, like compare and contrast, cause I think we're on our fifth one now. I'm loving them, not even joking, loving them. And then we have $40 in there for school bucks, which is Melina's school lunches. Cause we let her buy her lunch at school one day a week and it works out really well for her. In our transportation category, which is supposed to be 10 to 15% of our budget, we have our gas at $100. Sadly, I am not commuting with Mauricio to work anymore. He goes to the library right after work three, sometimes four nights a week. And so he's been driving himself. So our gas has gone up, but not too, too bad. We're still usually only 60, $75, but I always have extra in the budget for gas because I never want to run out of gas money. And then we have $70 for our easy pass. We don't drive on the toll road system here a ton, but I never seem to know when it's going to charge and when it's not. And like, if we go out to visit my brother, it ends up being like $5 each way and it's just insane. So we just put it $70 in the budget every month so we have it if we need it. In our insurance and tax category, which is supposed to be 10 to 15%, we have our USAA car and renters insurance for 183.50. We have my USAA life insurance for 91.65. We have our CMFG insurance for $12. And we have Mauricio's life insurance, which we got through Xander for 35.83. And in our health category, which is supposed to be five to 10% of our budget, it's creeping up there. Mauricio's medication is costing $90 a month. My Weight Watchers fee is $44.95. And then the big expense is Melina's doctor's appointments. She's been going to some specialists and we are not getting reimbursed a lot for these appointments. Most of them are considered out of pocket because they're out of network, but 
we want Melina to go to the best doctor around. And so, you know, we're having to cover a lot more. So if we submit $700 worth of bills, we might get two or $300 back, but we haven't gotten a lot back. It's very, very frustrating, but it is what it is. So, and in our savings category, we have a thousand dollars for our trip to Columbia. We moved the trip to Columbia to April. We were going to go at Christmas time. And as I mentioned, the tickets were like 20, 22, $2,300 of ticket. That was more than we were having budgeted for Christmas. So we were like, ah, so then we looked at going in January, but Melina was going to have to miss so much school. We decided to go during spring break. We've been saving a thousand dollars. We did take money out of that account to just to cover the debauchery of October. We did. It was bad. So, um, that was about $2,000 we took out of that. So we are under, so we are going to be saving for a few months extra. So it is what it is. We are saving $200 for summer camp. We pay for Melina summer camp in February and it's wonderful to pay for summer camp in February because you get these huge discounts if you pay upfront early. So yeah, we're on board with that. We are paying $150 to our medical sinking fund, $100 to our car repair replace sinking fund, $100 to our Christmas sinking fund for next year, because we've already pulled out our Christmas sinking fund for this year and we've already paid for it. $100 for an emergency trip to Columbia for Mauricio, $50 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina, and we're not contributing anything to our emergency fund this month because it's fully funded. And check this out. I have $1,042.41. And 42.41 of that is interest I've earned. So yeah, 42.41 free money. I'm on board with that. And in the lifestyle category, I kind of am hating this category because I just... Some of the stuff, yeah, I agree it's lifestyle, but some of the stuff I don't think is lifestyle. So in our lifestyle category, which is supposed to be 15 to 25%, we have our $100 for Amazon because I'm going to spend it and I might as well have it in the budget. I have $30.96 to iTunes, $14.95 to Audible, and $99 for our Amazon Prime annual fee. And in the Molina category, which also falls under lifestyle, I have 608 for before and after care, $99 for swimming lessons, $280 for Spanish lessons, $25 for miscellaneous school expenses, and $500 for Christmas at break camp. And she'll probably go to ice skating camp. That's what she's asked me to do. And it's about $250 a week. So yeah, she'll do that. And in the cash category, which is also considered lifestyle, we have $20 for the dry cleaner, $200 for blow money, which is like Mauricio and mine's pocket money. So $100 a month a piece. $25 for Mauricio's haircut, $40 for Sally Beauty Supply, which is my hair coloring supplies, and $100 for family outings. Now, I will be honest with you, I actually expect the family outings category to go up this month because Mauricio really wants to do several Christmas activities. So I'm going to look at the budget and see how much they cost and, and we're going to go ahead and probably do those things because it's really, really important to us to create awesome memories with Melina and um, especially at Christmas time. There's just so much in this area that we love to do. And in my YouTube category, which is also considered lifestyle, we have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, and $9 for Morning Fame. I did drop out of my YouTube group, which I was paying $19.95 for, but I haven't taken it out of the budget. And in the work expenses category, which is also under lifestyle, we have $22 dollars for parking for Mauricio and fifty dollars for my Franklin Covey planner that I get every year because that's what I use for my work notes and and stuff like that it's my agenda for work and then in our cushion category we have a hundred dollars to pre help keep us on budget for the things that we are spending over. This month, we are paying $5,071 to debt. And you will notice we are paying a lot less to debt right now. And a lot of that is, is the medical expenses. And you know, it is what it is. It's frustrating. It, we're not happy about it, but it 
absolutely has to be done. And it'll probably slow our debt payoff by a month or two. And, you know, but in this process, especially if you have a long process, it's all about making choices. So we're making this choice to slow down our debt snowball to do some medically necessary things. Every dollar says it's a balanced every dollar budget, which I love to see. I'm a love me a zero based budget. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.